I'm not an idiot. I know the reason I'm in here now is because of the old guy. And you. And you're wearing a collar, so I trust you a little more than the old guy. He's more controlling than I'd like. Thing is, here's where being my partner pays off. See, I know how to get into the casino vault. There's a private elevator, Sinclair's elevator. It's up in the executive suites in Vera's room. Not a coincidence. Vera. She was my other partner before the bomb. Took some legwork. Some convincing made it happen. Sinclair was already puppy-eyed, so all I had to do was the introductions. She smiled, fluttered her eyes, showed a little leg, and he built this whole place for her. Made her the key to his vault, like a joke, because of her name. Her fake Hollywood name. Except Sinclair didn't know I'd been there first. I could twist her whatever direction I wanted. All she had to do was get inside the Sierra Madre for the gala, then use her voice to open the door. After that, smooth sailing would have been the biggest heist in history. Sinclair left holding the bag, ruined the bomb. Vera got sealed in here. A few hundred years go by, give or take. Almost the end of the story. Then you came along. Now we finish the job. Rob the Sierra Madre, rip out its heart. Last chapter of Frederick Sinclair. Close the book. All high and mighty, lording it over everyone, acting so self-righteous, like nothing could touch him. He was the one with the problem. Never got mad at anything, nothing seemed to shake him. Even after his life kept getting dragged through the dirt. Always kept looking for the bright, shining future in everything. So... I decided to take everything from him. He thought he was better than me. Don't believe me? Look around. This big casino. This big, colossal monument. Think it was for some woman? No. All ego, all self-righteous in lights, fit him perfect. Had to take him down a few pegs, bring him down to my level. Begin again? Some things you don't get up from. I was going to prove it. I didn't know at first. Then the old man showed up. You showed up. Then, that woman showed up, covered in scars. The one who makes all the hand signs, a little tight around the corners of her mouth. I put her in the clinic, tuned her like an instrument. If she heals up, it's not going to be her voice speaking anymore. That is, if the Sierra Madre didn't get her. If it did... Well, there's enough of Vera around for me to spend a few years piecing a book together. Then she can make some beautiful music. I'm not banking on it. So here's the short of it. Piece together Little Miss Vera Key's song in the right order. Sierra Madre opens its legs when in business. <laughs> 